Hello everyone and welcome to today's practice. Whether you've, you're new to yoga or you're a seasoned yogi, this one is going to be available for everyone and anyone. Whether you're starting your day or ending your day, this is a really nice way to tap into your body, to connect with your breath and just to find a little bit of peace within the moments of stillness. So when you're ready, we're taking a comfortable seat, just softening the hands. It might be nice here to close down your eyes or just soften your gaze and just take a few moments just to ground and settle. So just in this time, I really invite you just to detach from anything that's happening in the outside world and just use these 10 minutes for yourself. Just taking back time to connect with your body, to connect with your breath and just to welcome in whatever it is that you need in this moment. So just starting by finding your breath. So let's take a big deep inhale together through the nose. And an exhale out through the mouth. And then from here, just beginning to follow your breath. Again, let's picture that wave through the stomach, the chest. Let it rise up and in. And then as you exhale, starting to close down your ribs and drawing your belly button back to your spine, just beginning to find this pranayama, this breath work, this energetic control where we have the ability to welcome in whatever we need with an inhale and whatever we need to release with an exhale. So just reminding everyone that your breath is the gateway to this practice. So if you can, try and stay with those steady inhales and exhales, or if ujjayi breath is in your practice, now is a really nice time to begin. So we'll just start by dropping the chin to the chest, just for a moment, just stretching out through the back of the neck. And then we'll just let the gaze come all the way up, lifting up to the sky. When you're ready, come all the way back to the center. If the eyes are closed, we'll open them here. Take a nice shoulder roll just to reset, breathing in. And exhale, letting them go. We'll bring our hands either side of our body, palms faced in. When you're ready, we'll take a big deep breath, reaching up, hands above the head. And then with an exhale, this time you're dropping your chin to your chest and taking your hands behind your back to interlace your fingers. Push your palms together with that breath in, stretch through the chest, the heart space. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your knees, round through your spine, we take a seated cat cow. We pull everything together, so inhale, slide the hands back, lift the chest. Exhale, round through the spine, hands come over your knees. Two more rounds, so inhale, arms are facing forward, same again, you've been here before. Let your body guide you, chin to chest, hands behind the back of the body. Interlace the fingers, inhale, peel back the shoulders, feel that opening in the chest. Round through the spine, tilt your pelvis, hands to your knees. Seated cat cow, inhale, take it in your own time. Exhale, find your roll. Last one, inhale, take the arms higher and wider than you have before. Feel that space creation. Exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Last round, so maybe bring the hands higher off the back, reach further opening of the chest. Round your spine and bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, last seated cat cow. You can slide the hands back. And as you exhale, releasing here. From here, take your time. We're bringing the legs in front. Left leg comes out, right knee comes in. From here, take your right foot over your left and take hold of your right knee with your left hand. We're flexing the toe to protect the knee. Right hand comes behind the back. So from here, with the first breath, find nice space in the spine. And as you exhale, start to slowly turn your gaze over your back shoulder. Again, just stay in your range, breathing in, find that space, root to rise. And breathing out, take that nice twist. Just one more here, just wringing out the spine from your root to your tip. We come all the way back. Just changing sides, so take as long as you need. Right foot comes out, flexing the toes, protect the knee. Left foot can stay on the inside or the outside. Right hand gives your body a hug and left arm comes behind. So we use the breath in to find space and length. And we use the breath out just to deepen your twist. As always, move in a range that feels comfortable for you, breathing in and breathing out. One last breath here and twisting. In time, we're coming onto all fours, so you're finding that tabletop. Shoulders are stacking over your wrists and knees are stacking under your hips. 
From here, let's just warm up the wrists. So we'll take the hands to the left and the right side of the mat and just take a little rock left to right. And then coming back to the center for some cat cows. Toes tucked or untucked. Breathing in, dropping your tailbone, lifting the chest and breathing out, rounding through your tailbone, pushing the ground away. As always, just notice how it feels in your body today just to move. This practice is a practice of freedom and expression, so at all points you can take control. You know your body better than anyone else, so this is the time where you really start to step into your power and just start to take little bits of movement that you know will benefit you for your day or from your day, just releasing in a way that feels comfortable. When you're ready, let's come all the way back to the center Untuck the toes, widen the knees, and just find a nice child's pose. So hips come as low as they can. Fingertips walk forwards, but you're coming onto your fingertips here like a little cat on their claws, and you're looking to the top of your mat, just opening through the shoulders. If you want to take it further, we walk over to the left-hand side. And again, just feel that stretch through the right-hand side. You can drop your head through to deepen it. With everything, just keep your breath, that nice, steady, slow inhale. And that releasing exhale. And as you come back to the center, we just take the other side. So always giving both sides as much attention and affection. Walking over to the right, let the head drop through. And then just breathe, breathing with that inhale, riding that wave through the body. And breathing with that exhale. As you come back to the center, take your time, come up into that tabletop where you've been before, but this time tuck the toes, lift the hips, and let's pedal it out in a downwards facing dog. So just use this time to remove any stickiness in the body. Keep it nice and soft with the knees. We don't have to have our heels flat. We don't have to be pushing our body into a place that feels uncomfortable, just breathing and arriving in softness always. When you're ready, we come onto the tiptoes, bend the knees, look to your hands, take a nice big step or a few steps, and take that first rag doll where you're just hanging out left to right with the sways. Releasing any tension, let your head be that nice anchor. Softening your knees, come back to the center and just take your first spinal roll. So here, just imagine your spine is stacking one vertebrae at a time. Big deep breath, roll your shoulders to your ears to find your sadhasana. Palms come forwards, we'll take our first little flow. So let's take a breath in, root to rise. Hands come up as far as they can. Push your hips back and as you exhale, take that forward fold once again. Keep the knees nice and bent. Flat back, hands come to your knees or your shins. Squeeze your shoulder blades back, lift through the chest. Plant the hands and step your right leg back. Lower your back knee and untuck your back toe. From here, let's all bring the hands to the hips. Take your time to wriggle your left foot forwards and then sink into that left knee so you get that nice opening of the right hip. Now from here, we never want to see the knee in front of the foot, not in this posture for now. We're just keeping it nice and behind or over. Then if it feels comfortable, let's take the arms all the way up to the sky. Big, deep stretch, breathing in. With an exhale, find a nice cactus. Inhale, come all the way back, arms above the head. Frame your front foot and let's start to walk the hands back, flex the toe and just start to feel that stretch in the back of the hamstrings. If this is too much, you can take a breath in to come back out. And then exhale, letting it go. On that next one, we tuck the toe, roll forwards and we take that flat back. So right foot steps to meet your left. Hands to shins, smile your chest to the ground. Plant your hands and step all the way back with the left knee. Same again, so hands come to hips first, just where you find your alignment, maybe wriggle that right foot forwards. Really sit into your right knee so you feel the left hip flexor open. Arms come up, breathing in, reach for the sky. Exhale, dance with that breath, take your cactus. Inhale, once again, follow your breath. Let it guide you as you frame your front foot, walk the hands back and flex the right foot. Hold, or if you need that little inhale, take the inhale to come out and take the exhale to come back. A Little bit different this time. We're rolling forward, spreading the fingertips, tucking the back toe, lifting the back knee, and you have your high plank. Now in your high plank, the knees can be up or the knees can be down. Wherever you are, take a breath, draw your belly button back to your spine. Roll all the way through your body. Let's take the hands, keep them where they are, tuck your toes, squeeze your elbows into one another, 
And with an inhale, just find a little bit of a cobra. You don't have to go high, just rolling through the chest. Exhale, pour all the way down. This time, take a breath in, squeeze your elbows in, push through the arms. Take it all the way back into your child's pose. From here, just allow your lower back to open. Just allow your breath to soften. Relaxing the arms. Just coming back to that slow and steady inhale. And that slow and steady exhale. From here, you can continue moving in a way that feels comfortable. Maybe you can repeat that again. Or you can finish your day here knowing that you've moved your body, you've awakened your muscles, and now you have this depth and clarity to carry on your day. Thank you, everyone.